All right, let's take a walk through the garden here, see if we can find some vegetables started. <clears throat> okay. That's a pea right there started. There's another one. And look at here, another one started. These are, uh, these just got planted, so they're not going to be ready to go. These will be cucumbers, as you can see. We did tomatoes here. These won't start for a while, though. You have to have patience with this stuff. You have to have patience. But these are going to be good, little cherry tomatoes. We experimented with those this year, and, uh, just them cheap package of seeds to see what they'll do. Okay, here's some peas. And uh, they actually were supposed to be up here by the fence. We have a lot of volunteers who help us. And sometimes you drop a seed, which is fine. That's okay. We can always dig that up and move that over. That's not a big deal. We appreciate the volunteers. Without them, this, this wouldn't get done. We wouldn't do as big of a garden as we do. As you can see, there's more coming right here. See, they'll just start to come up. And uh, there's a little slug. See him? You don't want him in there. See, he was going for it. So we're going to get him right out of there. You can see them all starting. And what they'll do is they'll go up the rack. And those will be putting off peas very shortly. But you can dry those peas on a newspaper or on a screen. Let them dry really, really well. Yeah, you can see they're starting to come now. And... uh You'll have, you know, dried dried peas. And these do very well. These, they're starting to flower now. As you can see, the little flower on here. But that's all edible, too. You actually can eat the flower. These get a little stiff. This right here gets a little bit stiff. But these are soft. The little, and that's what you cut. You want to cut these long ones, these good ones. But uh, kids like them. They taste like onions, but they're not as strong as an onion. So you can, you can get them into soups, and you can still get their greens in them. And uh, it's actually very healthy for you. Those are chives. Okay, and the strawberries are coming back. I got to get in here and clean these up. Well, we put uh, the leaves when they fall off the trees. That's what we put in to cover them for the winter. And it seems to work great, and it gives them nutrients the next year. So we'll clean this up a little bit, put a little mulch around them, and those will take right off. And, uh, yeah, grow something if you can. Um, just experiment on your window, maybe just in your front yard, wherever you can, wherever you're, you know, able to do it. And uh, share it with somebody. Just do it for the experience of it. Whether you, you know, fail at it or you win at it, it's the idea you've done it and you've tried. And experience is the best way to do it.